Hi everyone, it's Stephanie, and I just wanted to show off some really adorable um, flares that I won in an IG giveaway, um, Insta IG meaning Instagram giveaway, uh, by Tony from Designs, and I'll put a link to her Instagram and to her Etsy shop um, where she sells these this flare kit and many more adorable kits uh, sets a flare. So I want a set of eight flare. Here are six of them and I'm going to show you why I'm only showing six right here. So isn't this cute pumpkins and it says hello there pumpkin and I just love this one because my mother-in-law says this thing all the time. That's her little kind of like her um, pet name for people. So she says hello there pumpkin. So it's really cute. And then like this one's I pine for you to go with the pineapple and there's these three pineapples and some are on white and some are on this creamy background. And then look at these beautiful colors. This little really pretty blue and orange and the green. And I'm going to show you why I really love this color combination. And so I was so excited to win this and I already used one. So this is what this is the seventh one. And it was just perfect for one of my September Project Life cards. And um, I used a Studio Calico um, 4x6. It came in one of the kits and it says remember when, but I covered that part up on this side. And then there's my journaling. And Michael has this was the first day on 923. That he that I was eating these uh, organic frosted pastries in pumpkin flavor that he brought home from Trader Joe's, and oh my goodness, are they are so yummy, so yummy, um, especially if you like the pumpkin butter. Um, but anyway, so this is the adorable pumpkin. One of the adorable pumpkin flares went perfectly on this card. I hope to use these other cards. Uh, I mean, these other flare in some cute um, other layouts and card projects but isn't that so adorable it's just super adorable and then I just attached it with some of my favorite um, um, foam tape and of course it's really thin so it made it not too two-dimensional and then I use um, B Sweet Ideas Alpha here and I did some coloring and I will put a link to that Alpha set for her shop because she's got a new release that just came out four new stamp sets, three by four sets, they are all adorable. And seriously, if I wasn't trying to be really good and doing a no shopping, it's not really a no shopping and I haven't really gone into detail about why I cut back on my crafty hauls. I, I am planning to get some of her new releases though. Um, I'm in negotiation with Michael because the, 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 the limiting of my crafty hauls is an agreement he and I had um, regarding the remodel projects that we're going to embark on for the house or been trying to embark on for the last six years. But anyway, so that's a different story. But I love all of these sweet ideas, new releases. I encourage you all to go and see the new releases. Um, I definitely am going to be getting a couple this week and then hopefully the other two new releases uh, eventually. So anyway, so there's this really cute flare for that and then I haven't finished putting this project life card together but for the first time in years Michael brought home a real pineapple um, to put in my smoothie and um, so it was very shocking to have a real pineapple in the house I know that seems odd but we usually just do the frozen pineapple or frozen mango in my green smoothies just because it's so much easier um, and it did turn out, you know, it's just less waste for us because we're, we really doesn't, we really didn't do well at cutting up the pineapple. But isn't this great? Look at the blue background on this flare, and it matches the blue on my kitchen countertops. They're laminate, and actually, I'm gonna lose that in the kitchen remodel. But I've had it for ten years. It's a really pretty, um, but it's been in the house since the '80s, and so it's it's time to lose it unless we can get because we're going with some kind of different quartz eco-friendly quartz type um, countertops eventually hopefully keeping my fingers crossed because that's a whole nother video in itself about the whole remodel <laughs> uh, um, the whole remodel 
I'm not even sure what you would call it. But anyways, so I just love that the blue was so perfect for my photo because I had the blue countertop. So I'm going to be putting this together. And this card is from an old 2013 Studio Calico kit. And I just loved, I, it's the floral, but I did, I love the way that it kind of reminds me of the pineapple skin. It, it, I don't know why. It just sort of did. <laughs> so I'm going to place that there and the flare here. This is going to be the date. I have my high swept date stamp here. Um, and then I'm not sure if the journaling is going to go on here or possibly on a 3x4 next to it because I haven't actually done this week. This was in week 30, um, 38, which was really fun because I have started on week 39. And so I'm going to, uh, as soon as I finish week 39, which was, of course, last week, September September 24th to September 30th, so it ended last week, um, and it covers the time when Mocha had to have surgery while Michael was out of town, and it was a minor surgery, and she's already healed, doing great, um, so uh, everything's fine, but um, so I'll have that surgery story when I talk about the Project Life layout, so I am going to put this together, and probably at the end of this video, or I'm not going to have the process only because I really don't have time to film it um, because I'm having some back pain so I don't know if I'll be consistent in filming it or kind of sitting down and getting up a lot but um, so I'll have photos of the finished card but I just wanted you all to see all this adorable adorable flare and then I'll a link to the shop and she does do custom flare if you request it so it's just, I was so excited to win these, and I'm super excited to use them in more projects, and I'm just so happy that they're, I have perfect flair for these two photos. So thanks for watching, and then there'll be photos coming up of the finished card. Uh, happy creating! I thought I was going to just do, sorry, I had just dropped something. Um, I thought I was just going to do a photo of the finished card, but um, as you can see, it is very different from what I showed in the previous portion of this video, which was made um, yesterday or the evening, and now this is like the next day, mid-afternoon. So um, this did get done last night, but I'm just filming this portion. So I didn't film any of the process because it did take a lot longer, and I think that's what made it a lot more embellished than I had planned. And I really wanted cork on there because it reminded me of the pineapple skin. but um, it, this star just happened to be something close at hand. And then I do like where I uh, place the Tony Fromm um, adorable flare, pineapple flare. And then it ended up I had a better space for journaling than what I thought I would originally. And then this one got a star. But I use, you know, with more time, I'm able to go through more of my paper bits, paper embellishments. And if you've seen my craft studio tour, you know where I keep this bin. And normally I would use it as a drawer because normally I would do my layouts. Before I started making videos, I would um, do my project life layouts partially on here and partially where my project life album is open. Um, but with videos, they tend to have to, you know, if I'm going to do a process, it has to be here. So I pulled this out. Even though I wasn't filming, I pulled this out onto my table. Um, because I thought I might film and then I, my back was not feeling up to it. But um, so I have some organizing to do because I've been throwing in or not throwing, but sticking in uh, bags of embellishments, bags of paper embellishments um, and not putting them in this bowl, which I think is already too full. I do keep the labels still in here and I do try to keep all of this just labels so I know what I'm looking for in here but so I may have an update on this drawer reorganized because um, I may find that there is a different system but as long as it's all contained in here I think I'll have an easier time um, looking through it than if I had it anywhere else and I do like the location of where I have this so there's going to be some minor reorganization which I may or may not show but so this is going to be like a before and then an after 
Um, and so there might be another photo coming up here because I did take a still photo showing you the finished card. But, um, I just wanted to say that um, Michael and I now know how to s pronounce the mamma, and I'm sorry because I'm sure everybody else knows how to pronounce that, and we did not. So it's mamma, um, Cindy, not mama, Cindy. Thanks, Cindy, and congratulations again, and we will get this box out to you as soon as possible. And um, so there you go. Thanks again, everybody, and happy creating.